Hey guys, it's Danny. Well, since it's autumn, I think it's fair to talk about deciduous, semi-deciduous orchids and evergreen orchids. As an orchid beginner, you might be a little bit confused about these terms, so I think it's a good idea to talk about it, explain what it is and show some examples. Now, deciduous is a term that refers to a plant which loses its leaves annually. You might already know the term when referring to trees. If you live in a temperate climate, you know that trees tend to lose their leaves in the winter time. This term does not refer to plants that die off after a season. They just refer to plants which lose their leaves. And in the orchid kingdom, we do have all sorts of orchids, including deciduous. So let's start with some examples of deciduous orchids. Now, the most iconic deciduous orchid at the moment has to be the Catacetum orchid. As you can see, the older canes or pseudobulbs on these orchids are bare. Now, this is normal, nothing to worry about. Once a year, this orchid will lose its leaves. This is normal and a part of their growth habit. After the leaves are shed, usually a period of dormancy takes place. But bottom line is, once a year, this orchid will completely shed all of its leaves. Other orchids that do the same are the deciduous dendrobium species. Again, these types of orchids will lose all of their leaves, usually prior to blooming, but it's not a rule. However, once a year, all the canes will remain bare. The new growth that will start in the spring will remain green until autumn or winter once again. But when it comes to this orchid, just like with the catacetum, it is perfectly normal to lose all of its leaves. It doesn't mean the orchid is sick. You just need to be sure that the type of orchid you have, the type of dendrobium species, is deciduous. Because there are other types of dendrobiums which are not completely deciduous. So now let's talk about the semi-deciduous orchids. The best example of a semi-deciduous orchid is the Dendrobium nobili, which does lose its leaves, but not annually. And this time of the year is the perfect time to show you what I mean. As you can see, my Dendrobium nobilis are starting to shed some of their leaves. But they're not shedding the leaves of the new canes created the past summer. These are older canes, they are about two years old. And I've noticed that these types of orchids tend to lose their leaves in the second year in the life of a cane. Eventually, these orchids will completely lose their leaves as well, but it does not happen annually. So we refer to these types of orchids as semi-deciduous, because eventually they will lose all of their leaves, but it does not happen annually. It can happen in two or even three years. When it comes to the Dendrobium phalaenopsis, I know people say it's evergreen, but in my experience, it's not quite evergreen. Eventually, it will lose all of its leaves, but not annually. So again, we can consider this orchid a semi-deciduous one. Maybe it actually depends on the hybrid, but personally, I never had a full bush of canes with all of their leaves intact. After two or three years, usually this orchid loses its older leaves for me. And to finish it off, an evergreen orchid is that type of orchid which doesn't lose its leaves on a regular basis. Now, with any orchid, the oldest growth, be it a leaf or a pseudobulb, will die off in time, but after quite a few years. In this instance, we cannot talk about a deciduous nature. It's just normal regeneration for most orchids. So things like Phalaenopsis, Vandas, Cattleyas, Oncidiums, they are not deciduous or semi-deciduous, even though eventually after a few years, the oldest leaves might die off. But for the main part, the majority of orchids we can find available in stores are evergreen, which means they will hold on to their leaves for a long, long time. When it comes to deciduous or semi-deciduous orchids, usually we talk about a sort of a winter rest or dormancy. This dormancy or rest can be more pronounced or less pronounced depends on the species. But usually it means that the orchid does not need the same type of care all year round. So in a nutshell, that's the story with deciduous, semi-deciduous and evergreen orchids. So if you ever wondered about it, I hope this was useful. You can check the description below for more examples of orchids that belong to each category. And I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you liked it, please give it a like. If you didn't enjoy it, give it a dislike. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you all next time. Bye! You'll have to excuse my voice today, but last night we went clubbing. <laughs> well, not really, but we went to a concert and you know how it is, you scream all the time and yeah, sorry about that. On the plus side though, I will inform you now that next week will be unboxing haul week, so stay tuned for that.